cutie pies. I'm Lanikia, and you're watching what happened on the soaps. This is General Hospital Edition. All right, y'all, let's get right into this. Um, today is Tuesday, September the 27th, 2022. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to have to give this one an, uh, it was a 7.5. It was solid. Let's get right into it. We see Drew and Carly. I'm not going to hold you long on these two. Drew surprises Carly uh, by showing up in Jacksonville. She was like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe you came for me. He was like, yeah, girl, I came for you. And so she was like, uh, that's so nice. And then she starts telling him everything that's going on. And Drew was like me. Y'all, I paid attention to Drew and Carly today because y'all know sometimes I'll be blacking out and I have to rewatch the scenes. But I paid attention the first time today. But he was like me. They moving bodies? <laughs> I've never heard of, I mean, you hear about stuff like that, but then you also hear about um, hauntings and everything else. So anyways, it was like, they're moving bodies for a walkway to, to the beach? And she said, yes. And so he said, you know, I run a media company. I'm going to help you out or whatever. She was like, Drew, you don't have to. He was like, I want to help you. And then he shows her a cute photo, a video of Donna as well as um, Avery telling her, Hey, mama, we love you. Can't wait to see you again. All that. She was like, oh, my gosh, Drew. And so then, you know, she was like, where are you staying tonight? And he said, you know, it's some kind of convention going on. So I'm going to have to live, go outside of town. And she was like, don't do that. This hotel um, couch pulls out, but it don't pull out. So she was like, let me get you a cot or whatever. And he was like, girl, I slept on cinder blocks. This is like great. And, and everything. So then we see that um, he just he's just like, this is like great. And she's like, OK, so, you know, Drew and Carly. And, OK, so then we move on to Joss, Rory, Cam and Trina. And they're all going out, having a good time. And they're um, at the dart throwing place. So I guess the Metro Court is done got cold now. So they're going to have to go somewhere else, you know, so everybody going to be throwing um, axes throwing the axe or whatever. Anyways, so Trina and uh, Jocelyn talking everything and she asks her, you know, I'm glad you're with Rory. I, he makes you happy. She's like, yes, this is the happiest I've been. Like not having Spencer in my life, I'm happy or whatever. And she was like, I'm so glad to hear that. And so then the guys come back or whatever. Um, oh, and they talk about Cam too, how um, Jocelyn, is, you know, she's just going to, um, she still ups she was still upset a little bit with Cam for not telling the truth, but she gets it. Plus, she can't judge nobody. She didn't tell the truth about Dick. She live omission is still alive. And y'all, real quick, just play for every pray for everyone in um Florida and everything, because who they about to get it bad. Hopefully not, but it looks like it. All right, so then we see they all get together and they say, let's uh, get on teams or whatever, and let's have this act story contest. And they're like, all right. So then we see Curtis and um Portia and she tells him about Diane Miller being hurt and how she's in surgery and everything and they're like dang he's like dang I can't believe that so then she says yeah Jordan was kind of you know Jordan was kind of upset about the article in the invader because he said at least invader helped people to be on alert you know that's what's going on and Jordan said only because you know we're trying to catch a killer and y'all out giving details and stuff like that and so then Curtis got the nerve to tell Jordan, you know, because she says, can can I count on you, Portia? I heard about Diane, and I need to ask more questions since Finn isn't here. Can I ask you? And Portia's like, yeah, I'll be happy to help you. And she said, can I count on you for discretion and, you know, not to tell or whatever? And Curtis going to say, you would be the person to um to know about that. Jordan and everything like she you could keep a secret you don't you won't tell or, or or whatever and it's like dang Curtis let it go <laughs> like you are moved on to another woman at this point sir you are hurt you want Miss Jordan back that's how I feel like do you want her back because you're real hurt about some things or whatever y'all are y'all about to get the divorce the woman already told you yes she still has feelings for you but that she wants you to be happy more than she has feelings for you so what's the problem here anyways Portia's like oh sorry about that and Jordan was like it's fine we don't need to discuss my um Curtis and I she said I'm here to talk about the killer or whatever and so yes they found out it's the same um they were more precise when they hit, attacked Diane, so they're getting better at it. And they found out that they used that um, same poison and everything on the weapon. So that's that. 
So then we see Jordan calls um, Rory and she tells Rory, listen, I need you to come on over here. I know it's your off day, but I need you to do me a favor. Diana has been attacked. So I need you to come over here and watch guard. I don't need anybody going in her, into her room because, you know, she trusts Rory because he let Portia in that room that time with Oz. And he was like, all right, cool. So then we see Rory tells all them, you know, I got to go. And he said, Diane's been attacked. And they were like, oh, my God, what? And so he says, um, he says, y'all don't go home. Like, don't separate. The three of y'all need to stay together and be safe or whatever. And they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, don't separate. I'm like, I'm serious. Y'all be together. When you leave, all three of you need to leave together and everything. So then Josh stops Rory and she tells him, um, well, can I ask who? Because he told them they had a suspect. And she said, can I ask who the suspect is? He said, I can't tell you that, but I will say it's somebody who's been interviewed and they've been at all three scenes. So then Jocelyn starts thinking back and she was like, Dex has been in all three. And I was the one who told him Dante wanted to speak to him or whatever. So she realized, well, she don't know he's been at all three, but he's been at the other one. So she's assuming it's him. So then Josh, Cam, and Trina talk, and they all, uh, she says, I, I want to go check on Diane. And they were like, we're coming with you. And she was like, no, 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 guys. Sonny has double security on me and everything. So, you know, I'm cool or whatever. And they was like, all right. But they didn't really want her to, but it was like, all right. So Trina said, what, what do we do? Just go home. And Cam said, no, this gives us a chance to talk because it's been weird between us since you found out that I knew Spencer's secret. And she said, yeah, um... <clears throat> I, and I was disappointed in that. And it's just going to take me a little while to get over. He says, I know. He was like, I was in a hard place because I had two friends that I care about. And one was asking me to keep the secret to help, you know, that friend or whatever. Haven't you ever been like that? And she started thinking back to Josh being in that dumpster with Dex. And she's not telling Cam about it. And this is a secret that Trina is holding. So she was like, yeah, I guess I could really. <laughs> I guess I could relate. And that's it with them, y'all. So then we see Nina, uh, Sonny, Gladys, and um, Sasha. So Sonny has made Sasha, I mean, Gladys a cup of tea. And she was like, what does a coffee importer know about tea? He said, uh, I might get into it or whatever. And she was like, I'm sorry, Sonny. And he like, no, nah, because he understands like she she might be snip. I didn't even t take it as bad, but she might be snipping at him or whatever, snapping. But it's only because, you know, she's stressed out. She just lost her son and everything. But they talk and, and everything. And they, um, they talk about, you know, the guardianship. And he says, Diane is going to be taking care of that. Because at this point, he doesn't know that Diane is down and out or whatever. Lord, who going to be the next lawyer? I said, are y'all going to try to get Alexis back? Can she practice still? Because I don't know about getting Scott child. <laughs> I don't know about him. But anyways, they said, who going to be, um, they, they talk about the guardianship and all that. And then they tell Sonny, Sonny, there's nothing you can do for us here. Like, you've been such a great comfort, but you know, he's been, he's a busy man. So they like, you can go. He was like, are y'all sure? And they was like, yes. So Sonny's like, all right, I'm going to go. And, and they told, and Nina was like, well, you know, I'm staying or whatever. So I'm going to walk Sonny out. And they were like, okay. So Nino walks Sonny, Sonny out and he just tells her, be careful and everything. And then they talk about, you know, Sasha and Brando a little bit. And then he gets a phone call and it's Alexis. And he was like, Alexis, slow down. What's going on? And then he says, Diane. And so he tells Nina, Diane has been attacked. And, you know, he wants them stay safe for everything. And she was like, but he got to go to the hospital. And she was like, go, go, go. I'm going to stay here. So then Nina and I mean, Gladys and Sasha talk. And it's a real sweet, you know, because Gladys, Sasha is just like, oh, my gosh. I have no one now. I have no family. Brando was it for me. And Glad said, girl, I know we didn't always get along. And I gave you a hard time when you first, you know, at first. She said, but when you married Brando, you became family and you stuck with me. And Sasha's just like, I wouldn't want it any other way. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. That's so sweet. But anyway, so then we see Nina comes in or whatever. And Gladys tells Nina, I, you know, I wasn't the nicest person to you. And Nina said, listen, you had good reason to be. And she said, but the way you've helped us in this time of need that we have, like priceless, like they're your, your family or whatever. And Nina was like, I'm happy to help. And so Gladys is trying to make arrangements because they said we need to go ahead and make arrangements for Brando because he's just sitting in a morgue and they don't want him to just be there. Like they want to go visit and they, and, um, and 
Sasha said, like you do with your brother. And she said, and Nell, I go visit Nell as well. And so they was like, we want a place where we can go instead of him just letting, letting him sit in the morgue. So they call and they're trying to, um, they're trying to make arrangements. But um, Gladys was like, what? Okay. She said, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it later. And so she gets off the phone and they're like, what's up? And she's like, it's nothing. I'll deal with it later or whatever. And they were like, no, what is it? And she said, the credit card didn't go through. And Gladys was, I mean, Sasha was like, what? I got plenty of money. Have y'all ever been into, into the store? And you know, you got money in your account and your car don't go through. And you're like, what the heck of these? <laughs> that happened to me once. It was Christmas time too. And I had tried to use my card. And then I was like, what? And so I went home, right? Because I was like, I know I got money on this card. I was so puzzled. I didn't even have time to be embarrassed because I was trying to figure out what was going on. And I get home and they um, bought up all these flights and stuff on my card, y'all. But anyways, focus, Nikki. It's not about you. It's about Sasha. So Sasha card is not working because of the guardianship. And Brando has to give permission for everything that Sasha would like to purchase and everything. And so um, that's another thing they had talked about with Sonny, like, that they're going to, you know, everything's going to be fine with the guardianship or whatever, but this is a, a block. And so Nina's like, here, use my card. And, they, and Sasha was like, no, this is my husband. I'm supposed to be the one to take care of this and everything, but we'll see what's happening with that. So anyways, y'all, Sonny gets to the hospital. He's trying to figure out about Diane and they won't give him any information, any information because he's not family. So Curtis comes up and he sees Sonny. And it's exactly what we said, um, y'all, when we said Curtis was overreacting when it came to Sonny and um, being all upset with him. So Sonny, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Curtis tells Sonny, Diane is in surgery right now or whatever. You know, she was attacked, but she's in surgery right now. He was like, Sonny was like, I'm surprised you're giving me that information because when last time we spoke, I thought this was a one-sided friendship. And Curtis said, you know, I talked to my dad and he did tell me um, that you knew about, you know, the medication he was on and what was probably wrong with him and everything. And you were, didn't tell him because you were trying to protect him. And, and so Curtis was like, so I... I like to apologize for that. You know, I like to apologize for the way I acted or whatever. Cause I know you were just trying to, you know, be a friend. And Sonny said, well, you know, I understand what the stigma and everything that your father was going through. And he said, I also did it because we're friends or whatever. And it was up to your father to tell you what he wanted you to know and everything. So they all good, y'all. So then Curtis going to talk to Portia. And he said, how did it go with Jordan? And then they both going to talk about Jordan a little bit tense. I said, well, why is she tense? Every time she turn around, y'all trying to accuse her of wanting your man. <laughs> like y'all trying to get Curtis is saying, you still want me. And Portia, you like, she's still in love with you. I mean, why would she not be tense? If I was Jordan, I wouldn't even speak to you. I'd be like, here are these divorce papers. Don't talk to me anymore. But anyway, so he says, every time I talk to Jordan, she always try to make it seem like you have we you have something to hide. It's just the way she say it or whatever. Like we're we're not on solid, as solid ground as I'm thinking. And you got something to hide. So Curtis was asking Portia, really, but what I asked him, Portia, he said, he's like, he was like, the lies and stuff that I felt like you could tell something was amiss in my relationship with Jordan. I don't feel that with you or whatever. Right. And he and she was like, right. So then it behooved me, y'all, because then Curtis gonna say. Poor thing. She probably thinks because she lies and, and everything. She's probably projecting all that onto what she feels onto us. I say, poor thing. <laughs> poor thing. I know you didn't, sir. Don't talk about my girl like that. Because you know I'm friends with Jordan now. Don't talk about my girl like that, sir. Poor thing. That woman, she do want him, but for the sake of arguing for my friend, that woman don't want you, Curtis. She does not want you. But I mean, Jordan does want him, but she don't want him enough to lie about divorce papers and everything. And he says, well, I feel like there's something Jordan wants to tell me, but she's not telling me. And Portia over there, guilty as all get out, because she knows exactly what Jordan has figured out. But she don't want like Curtis to know it or whatever. I said, marry this man if you want to with these lies, man. <laughs> You marry this man if you want to. 
telling these lies to him. Every adult woman in Curtis' life is lying. <laughs> Jordan lying about uh, she she's a lie of omission because she knows exactly who Trina is to Curtis and what Portia has done, and she's lying about it losing the divorce, like forgetting to file the divorce papers. Aunt Stella lying because she knows she took the divorce papers. And now Portia is lying because she realizes that she is the one who didn't tell Curtis that Trina is his daughter. I said, sir, instead of having all this animosity and, and everything towards Jordan, you need to talk to Portia. How you not? I don't understand how you could feel like Portia something was, I mean, Jordan something was off with him and you're not feeling with Portia because you can look at Portia and she is terrified. But whatever, Curtis, whatever. But took me out with the poor thing. I said, I said no, you're not going to talk about her like that. We go to Dante and Dix, child. And Dante got Dex up in there. Now, now, mind you, Dex asked for a lawyer about three or four times. He asked for to speak to his lawyer and Dante won't give it to him. He said, just clear your name. And Dex said, listen, I was there. I was trying to help him, help her or whatever. He said, you know, and he's like, well, why weren't you at the, um, why did you leave? If Sonny told you to watch, why did you leave? Dex never did answer that question now. I said, I bet he was talking to Michael. I bet that's what happened. He was talking to Michael or whatever. So anyways, um, we see Dex and, um, Dante continue to talk and he's just like, you know, if your name, if you want to clear your name, just tell me what happened. And he, so he says like, I was, I, I came in and I saw her on the ground and I started um, trying to stop the bleeding and everything. And that's all I could tell you. And then he said, am I under arrest or whatever? And Dante is like, stay right there. And he leaves. And so Dex calls Sonny and he says, I, I need your help. And Sonny says, I'm on my way. <laughs> Sonny was like, I'm on my way or whatever. So then Sonny gets there and he was like, what's happening here? And um, Dante said, you know, we have Dex or whatever. We have Dex or whatever. Um, but we, he said he was going to call his lawyer. Are you, and and Dun, Sonny was like, um, does he need to call a lawyer? And he said, you need to find out what you need to find out about Dex. Or how, do, how well do you think you know him? And then Dante walked off. What walked off? So Sonny goes in the interrogation room and he's like, Dex, what's going on? And Dex said, I was there when I found I am. So now they're thinking that I had something to do with it, but I didn't, boss. And, um, so then around this time, Jordan comes in. And Jordan is like, Sonny, I didn't know you were a lawyer. He said, girl, you know I'm not a lawyer. And he said, but is he under arrest? And they were like, oh, that's a no then. So we're going to be leaving or whatever. And they said, <laughs> Dante said he had, um, he could have called a lawyer and he chose not to. I said, now, sir, that is not the truth. He said several times, he told Mac, do I need a lawyer? He told y'all, do I need a lawyer? Now, when he had, he did call Sonny. But he had asked y'all several times to let him speak to a lawyer. <laughs> what are y'all talking about? So then we see um, Jordan and Dante talking. She said, man, is this something off about Dex? And he said, yes. And so she said, look into it. And he said, I'm going to keep digging on it. So then Josh's going to run her fast self up to the police station talking to Dante about where's Dex. And he said, what you know about Dex? And she said, I heard um, he's a sp suspect. And she, he said, how do you know that? I said, you going up here running your mouth, telling too much. But anyway, she said, I heard he was a suspect. And um, he said, yeah, because, you know, with Diane and everything. So you need to tell me everything you know about Dex. Because Jocelyn started thinking about everything, you know, about Dex and how he did disappear when they were looking, when she was looking for him. So then, child have mercy, Portia going to run herself up to Jordan's office and because Curtis done pumped her head and she all afraid because she know Jordan knows her secret. So, to, so she can deflect because that's what I believe she's going to end up doing. So she can deflect on Jordan telling her secret. She's going to tell Jordan, Curtis told me what you y'all conversation about the divorce papers and everything. Jordan, how could you? Or what are you trying to do? She said something around it. Y'all know I be paraphrasing. I said, Portia, if you don't get out this grown woman face with your lying self, instead of worrying about Jordan, you need like why would you get involved with Curtis again, knowing you lied about his daughter? <laughs> 
wrong with you? And y'all, we're going to finish that up tomorrow. So anyways, De Sonny tells Dex, you know, um, let's go. And so Dex is trying to get away from Sonny. I I'm, I'm gonna go on home and, and, and you know, I, I thanks for the offer, but I don't need a ride. He said, Get in the car. So, Dex getting in the car, whatever. He said, Thanks for the ride home again. And Sonny said, We're gonna make a little stop. And then on the preview for tomorrow, baby, we see Sonny torturing Dex. <laughs> Sonny, that's not the way you do it. But I mean, it is what it is when you think that the person you are hired is no good. And so, Michael gonna try to get involved, free C on the preview. And he's going to tell Michael, this ain't got nothing to do with you. But it do because Michael is the one who hired Dex or whatever. So, I don't know, child. We're going to see what we see tomorrow on um, what happened on the soaps. General Hospital Edition. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you tomorrow for a new episode. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.